You can add new and used cars to the growing list of shortages during the pandemic. Yeah, a dramatic drop in the supply of computer chips for cars is just one of the reasons. So if you're looking to buy a car right now, expect sticker shock. Tan Truong explains. Oddly, business is good. At Lakeside Toyota in Metairie, they're not hurting for business. Inventory is kind of crazy. What they are hurting for are cars. There's about 110 new vehicles on this lot. Before the pandemic upended supply chains and global car production, that number used to be between 300 and 500. And that's leading to customers asking questions like this. Why can't I get that vehicle? Why, why, what do you mean I can't, I can't even order it the way I want it? And in some cases they can't right now. It's a nice car. Troy Campisi has been selling cars for almost 30 years. He says the last time he saw this kind of shortage of new and used cars was in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. Right now, there's a cascading effect and it starts with the lack of available semiconductor chips. Everything comes up on your screen. Along with many other devices, those chips are needed for those high-tech features in modern cars, which seem to be computers on wheels nowadays. The demand for the chips is outrunning the supply right now. It's catching up, but that's the main thing. That's what's slowing down new car inventory, not just with Toyota, but all the domestics, everybody. Throw in a huge demand for cars as the country tries to emerge from COVID, and the inventory of new cars shrinks. Naturally, people are looking for used cars, but Campisi says that pool is getting thinner too, and prices are getting steeper. Just finding used cars is, you know, if you don't trade for them, it's almost impossible to get them at auction. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average price of a used car in the U.S. jumped 10% in the month of April alone. That's the biggest jump in prices for used cars since 1953. I'm taking the, the, the customer position here. So if I'm at home and I got a used car and I want to sell, is this a good time to sell a used car? Yeah, as long as you don't need another one. You know, that's a dilemma. Th that is a dilemma. Considering that dilemma, you could get some TLC for your car and hold on to it. But if you're going that route, you may have to wait. Garages are seeing more people with the same idea. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. In case you're wondering, the average price of a used car right now is $25,500. $25,500. According to J.D. Power, that is the highest it's ever been since they started tracking prices.